Greetings and salutations. Let's install Packet Tracer onto a 64-bit installation of Arch Linux. Uh, for my environment today, I'm going to be virtualizing a 64-bit installation of Arch Linux with KDE, Firefox, and Java installed. So, to get us started, i uh, got some disclaimers here. First is the AUR. If you're unfamiliar with the AUR, read up on the article. Understand what you're getting into. The AUR is n n not necessarily officially supported. Um, so there's just some security factors that we're going to have to go into later with that. And legality, make sure you're actually allowed to use the program because it's proprietary and Cisco, do and Cisco does not want you sharing it. And I can't necessarily blame them. They're in it to make money. So first, let's check out this AUR article and I'm just going to copy paste the necessary command I'm going to need in order to continue with my installation of Arch Linux. So just elevate yourself to a root user. For me, I'm going to type in my super secure password. And we're going to quickly download and install exactly what we need. In the meantime, let's figure out what, what's next. Apparently, we're also going to need to download and extract the tarball packet tracer from the AUR. So let's just open up that... Uh, this tab now. And before I go anywhere, because I'll probably forget, props to the submitter and the maintainer and any future people who will be submitting or maintaining, or past people, because those people are super awesome. Alright, that's completed. That's super cool. I'm just going to copy that. Now I'm going to exit out of root because we're going to need to um, do this. We're going to want to do 90% um, of this stuff as a um, normal user. And I'm just going to grab that tarball and we'll just extract it and we're gonna leave that for now we'll come back to actually setting up our directory later but at this point what's very important we're gonna is we uh, need some dependencies for this archive or for the installation rather so what we're gonna need to do first is enable the multi-lib repository and this is not is not actually too terrible of a job now if I remember yes I was actually able to remember without the wiki for one thing ever. Elevate yourself again into root and nano pacman.conf in the Etsy directory and just move yourself all the way down. And if I said nano just then instead of, you know, edit, I apologize. Um, save and exit and do a quick synchronization. You could upgrade if you want to with that U switch, but I'm not going to for the purpose of time. And you are good to go, basically. Except that you're not good to go because otherwise we'd have packet tracer installed by now. <laughs> I'm hilarious and I'm funny. Be quiet. So we're just going to need to install all these um, packages that it lists up here. And this is the part where you hope you don't type in too many typos because that takes a lot of time in the video and no one likes to, t to be waste having their time wasted so I apologize I get this um, command or this every time I'm not actually sure what the ramifications of this are later but I just go ahead and confirm because for some reason I really want packet tracer installed so yeah let's go ahead and grab all those packages hopefully it doesn't take too long if it does well I can always pause the recording and come back to it but for the most part, it seems like it's coming down from my router's cache, so we should be good. Alright, awesome. 52 glorious packages. While that's going on, I may as well do something productive with our time, yeah? So what we need is the is access to this um, gzip archive. If I remember correctly, it, it is a gzip. And this isn't... Um, it doesn't come with the... Um, the tarball itself for, I would imagine, legal and ethical issues. So again, as your uh, regular user, this is the um, file in question. And as kind of an extra security thing, it's a good idea that if they provide a um, proper SHA, SHA1 sum file or an MD5 sum file, or uh, values, sorry, to confirm that those are legitimate, because if you're getting this in a naughty way, it's always good to make sure you're not getting infected at the same time, yeah? So yeah, that's good. So what we need to do is move it 
into that packet tracer um, file where we extracted that tarball to. Question is, is this done yet? It's done. That was quick. We don't need that anymore. Well, we will need to go into sudo later, but eh, whatever. So now that we have that copy, this is what your um, directory structure should look like with the um, contents of that original. Um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. The tarball and the archive itself. Best practice when you're using the ArcGIS repository is always to give that um, package build a quick cat and just see what the contents are because you can get into some trouble if you don't know what you're getting into. If you scroll up here you can see where we need, why we needed to copy over that um, that uh, gzip archive earlier was because it's asking for it as a source so definitely make sure you have it. Now that that's all good and uh, I mean, I personally trust the maintainers and such, and the code itself, because I don't see anything malicious, but maybe someone will find something one day. Let's make that package, as you would normally with any other AUR. My experience, this takes for me usually about two and a half minutes, so I'm just going to pause the recording and I'll come back at you when it's all good to go. Alright, now that that has finished itself, we need to elevate as root once more, and never do this command that I'm about to do, but because it's naughty and shortcuts, as we've learned from some, um, you know, classic tales, are not always the best thing to do, because wild cards can lead to unhappy things. But I live dangerously, you know. So yeah, and if you're and if you love to re, uh, live dangerously, do what most people don't and read the Eula, because it's not that long actually, and it's good practice and ethical and all that good stuff. So, if everything went correctly, you should have Cisco Packet Tracer inside the internet category in what I would call most menu systems. So, you get the initial run prompt, and you're good to go. I don't personally have a fix for why the cursor kind of defaults. That could be another thing that could be um, resolved possibly in a in probably some configuration files somewhere. I think I've seen those when I use Mate, as you can see here on my main system, so I'm pretty sure that could be easily resolved, but for the moment, that's all there is to Packet Tracer, except for the very last thing you should and do, if, especially if you're a student, is the assessment environment check. So when that time rolls around for you to be practicing for your final exams and actually doing the final exam, you actually are able to do the Packet Tracer portions. And this um, page here actually launches some Java, JavaScripts, and if I know what I'm talking about at all, and basically opens Packet Tracer, makes sure it all works. So when, as I said before, when the time comes around, you're not stressing with more configurations, especially on the day, because I think I remember one time I was in the last week of one of my Cisco classes, and I was rushing to make sure that it was working, and that wasn't fun. But as you can see here, minimum requirement don't expect to ever get more than the minimum requirement because I haven't yet and that's been on both Debian and now Arch Linux systems. So yeah. If that's all good to go, I don't have a whole lot of advice as per what you could do next. Other than, I mean, if you're super cool, switch to GNS3 because I've heard good things from it. But we have now installed Packet Tracer on Arch Linux of the 64-bit variety. Thank you for watching.